Welcome back to High Stakes. Elevate your betting game by hitting that subscribe button and ensure you never miss out on our daily content. Want exclusive access to premium betting picks? Join our Patreon. Links are waiting for you in the comment section below. Stay ahead of the game with High Stakes. Nth State vs. Buffalo Let's break this down like a true professional gambler. The Kent State Golden Flashes are disaster this season, sitting at 0-11, and they're not going to turn it around anytime soon. They're coming off a humiliating 38-17 loss to Akron, and their quarterback, Tommy Ulatowski, has been nothing short of atrocious. He's completing less than 46% of his passes, tossing 14 touchdowns, but also 8 interceptions. And he thought their rushing game would be any better, think again. They're dead last in the country in that department, averaging a mere 74.3 yards per game. As if that wasn't enough, their defense is a mess, allowing a staggering 44.2 points per game and giving up 7.1 yards per play, ranking them 134th in the nation. Frankly, betting on Kent State to win is like throwing your money into a fire. Now let's talk about Buffalo. The Bulls are sitting at a solid 7-4 with a 5-2 record in conference play, coming off a convincing 37-20 win on the road against Eastern Michigan. Quarterback C.J. Ogbonna has been solid all season, throwing for over 2,000 yards with 16 touchdowns and just four interceptions. While their offense isn't perfect, ranking 102nd in total yards, they're still miles ahead of Kent State. What stands out, though, is the difference in scoring. Kent State is averaging just 10.2 points per game over their last five, while Buffalo has been lighting it up, putting up 43 points per game in their last three outings. The disparity here is massive, and I'd be shocked if Buffalo doesn't cover the spread in this one. Prediction. Buffalo Bulls to win. Let's get into the nitty-gritty. Both teams have been far from stellar on defense, but there's a clear gap between the two, and it's all in Kent State's abysmal defensive play. The Golden Flashes are allowing 44.2 points per game and giving up a massive 7.1 yards per play, which is by far one of the worst in the nation. With a defense that porous, they're giving up chunk plays on every drive. They're just not equipped to stop Buffalo's offense, which has been firing on all cylinders lately. The Bulls are averaging 43 points per game in their last three, and with C.J. Ogbonna at the helm, they have the ability to score quickly and efficiently. The disparity in offensive firepower is staggering. Buffalo has been able to put up big numbers even with a less than dominant offense, while Kent State simply can't keep up. On the flip side, Buffalo's defense hasn't exactly been great either, allowing 38.6 points per game in their last five. But given the competition they faced and the sheer size of their offense, the Bulls have been able to outscore most teams they play against. Kent State, meanwhile, has only been scoring an average of 10.2 points over their last five games, so while the Bulls' defense isn't perfect, they won't need to be in top form to contain Kent State's weak offense. Buffalo's defense will likely give up some points, but in this matchup, it's more about whether Kent State can keep up with the explosive Buffalo attack, which is highly unlikely. This game has all the makings of a shootout, with Buffalo scoring at will and Kent State unable to match them. The Golden Flash's defense won't be able to stop Buffalo's offense for long stretches, and when you pair that with Kent State's inability to score, we're looking at a game where Buffalo should cruise to a comfortable victory. The total is set at a high number, but considering both teams' defensive struggles, the over is the play here. Kent State is likely to give up 40-plus points, and while Buffalo will score plenty, they might give up a few as well especially if Kent State can find some success late in the game when the Bulls take their foot off the gas. In short, take the Buffalo Bulls to win and cover. Kent State's defense is just too bad, and with Buffalo's offense operating at a high level, this one should be a blowout. The over is also worth considering, as both teams have shown alarming propensity for giving up big plays, and the points will add up quickly in this one. Buffalo covers the spread easily, and the total should hit the over in the process. Toledo versus Akron. The Toledo Rockets struggled as they wound up losing 24-7 at home against the Ohio Bobcats. The offense was awful as they had seven total first downs and 215 total yards. The team struggled to run the ball as they averted only 1.8 yards per carry. Tucker Gleason is dealing with a lower body injury 
and completed just 9 of 17 for 136 yards and a TD. He was replaced by John Allen Richter, who completed 5 of 9 for 37 yards. Gleason is listed as questionable to play in this one. The Akron Zips are looking to build upon their last game as they won on the road against the Kent State Golden Flashes 38-17 last time out. The offense looked strong as they were 8 of 15 on third down attempts and were able to throw for 8.1 yards per pass attempt. The big issue was the fact they committed 8 penalties for 52 yards. Even if Gleason doesn't play, Richter is an accurate. 64.2% this season, and Steady Replacement, who has thrown 71 passes in two seasons. The turnover ratio throughout the season shows how good a defense takes away the football and how composed an offense can be. The Rockets have a plus one turnover ratio this year, while the Zips are sitting at minus 11. These defenses as of late are on two completely different levels as Toledo is allowing 17.0 points in their last two games, while Akron is giving up 29.0 points in their previous three games. Go with the Toledo Rockets to cover as the best bet here. On the flip side, Akron comes off a solid 38-17 win over Kent State, showing some offensive promise, especially with their ability to move the ball and convert on third down. Their offense has been averaging 28.0 points per game over the last three games, which is promising, but the glaring issue is their defense, which has been leaky, allowing 29.0 points per game over the past three outings. Their turnover ratio is another red flag at minus 11, which puts even more pressure on their defense to make stops and on the offense to avoid mistakes. Toledo's defense has been stout recently, and while their offense has struggled, it's still significantly better than Akron's. Even if Gleason is out, John Allen Richter has shown he can step up and manage the game, so Toledo's offense should still have enough to put up points. Akron's defensive woes will likely come to the forefront again in this one, as their inability to stop the run or get pressure on the quarterback will give Toledo enough chances to score. Take Toledo to cover the minus seven spread. The Rockets have a superior defense, and even with the struggles on offense, they'll be able to outclass Akron. Akron's defense has been too porous, and their turnover issues will catch up to them against a well-coached Toledo squad. As for the over-under, both teams are capable of moving the ball, with Toledo averaging 24.8 points over their last four games and Akron putting up 28.0 in their last three. However, with Toledo's strong defense and Akron's shaky defense, the over seems like the best bet here. Toledo should be able to score enough to push the total over, and Akron will contribute enough to keep things competitive, especially if their offense continues to click. So, expect a game that hits the over, with Toledo comfortably covering the spread. Take Toledo minus seven and the over.